Can you read Roman numerals? Roman numbers? In ancient Rome, they wrote their numbers using capital letters. It's confusing. Well, actually, we still use Roman numerals today on our clocks or our watches, but mostly just the fancy ones. We also use them to describe uh, really big events like the Super Bowl or the Olympics. But because we don't use Roman numerals all the time, it's easy to get them mixed up. There are seven different letters used in Roman numerals. Let's think of ways to tell which Roman numeral is which. Okay, the letter I stands for number one. That one's easy. It looks like the number one. The letter V stands for the number five. You can do a little hand trick to remember this one. So if you hold up your whole hand, which is five, and put down the middle three fingers, it looks like a V. V, five. V, five. The letter X stands for the number 10. You can remember this one because if you take two V's, you can make an X by putting them like this or like that. The letter L stands for the number 50. I don't really have a trick for that one, so you're just gonna have to remember it. The letter C stands for the number 100, like how there are 100 cents in a dollar or 100 years in a century. And the letter D stands for 500, which, yeah, I don't, I don't really have a trick for that one either. But the letter M stands for 1,000. That one's easy if you speak French because the word 1,000 in French is mille, like how many years are in a millennium, 1,000. And now you also know a little French, so that's good. Okay, we thought of some ways to remember these Roman numerals, but it'd be nice to have something for all the numbers. I know, let's make up a sentence to help us remember all these Roman numerals in order. I value x-rays. That's the first three Roman numerals in order. I, V, X. Stands for one, five, and 10. Let's count the doctor's money. I don't know if the doctor's gonna like that, but it'll help us remember the next four Roman numerals. L, C, D, M. Stands for 50, 100, 500, and 1,000. There's one more important thing to remember. There are only seven Roman numerals. So how do we get more than seven numbers? Well, you put them in groups. So I is one, II is two, and III is three. But there's a tricky part. You can't put more than three of the same Roman numeral together in a group. So to get four, you can't write III. Instead, you write it like this, IV. That means take one away from five to get four. Do you know what VIII means? Five plus one plus one plus one equals eight. But do you know how to write nine? You can't write V-I-I-I-I because that has more than three of something in a row. Instead, you write I-X. That means take one away from 10 to get nine. What's this number? X-X. That's 10 plus 10 equals 20. What about X-X-X? 10 plus 10 plus 10, so 30. But how do you write 40? Now remember, it can't be XXXX, X, X, X. so it's XL. Take 10 away from 50 and you get 40. The same goes for bigger numbers. 60 is LX, 70 is LXX, and 80 is LXXX. But for 90, you can't write LXXXX. X, X, X. You have to write XC, 10 less than 100. How about a really big number? A lot of times people write years in Roman numerals. Have you ever seen that before? Like on important statues or at the end of movies. How about the year 1969, the year people first walked on the moon? How would we write 1,969? First, let's break it up into smaller pieces. Remember, 1969 is the same as 1,000 plus 900 plus 60 plus nine. 1,000 is M. 900 is 100 less than 1,000. So we write that part as CM. 60 is 50 plus 10, so we write that as LX. And nine is one less than 10, which is IX. Let's put all that together. M, CM, LX, IX. I for one love Roman numerals. Get it? I for one? Because I means one.